Hi folks, it's Bill for Bill's Bonsais. How are you doing today? Um, oh, I've been up to mischief again. Uh, back in the garden doing some work. In this video, what I really want to do is tackle my Acer Katsura. So, let me turn the camera around, okay? So here on the bench, I've got this big Acer Katsura for the first quite some time now. And um, that's it there. So I want to give the the soil we tidy up. You can see the wee sprinkler I've got in there and I need to give it a, a prune so I'm going to take that over to my, my wee place where I can work and let's get that started. Okay, see you there. So there we have uh, a little bit of weeding done and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking some cuttings and um, I've got a jug of water there just to keep them all fresh so see what I can do it's a bit a bit crowded a bit dense I think uh, I don't know if I'll be doing any wiring so I've never really wired this tree at all ever um, but yep, yeah, so I'll maybe see what I can do with that, but yeah, right now I'm just going to start giving it a little trim and put the cuttings uh, in this jug of water and I'm going to have to try and propagate it and that's uh, one of the reasons why I bought the greenhouse, so, uh, so I'll be doing that today as well. Well, we've just got a little shower starting, so I'll pause uh, the video just now, okay, and I'll get back to you in a minute. <laughs> Typical, so on the one day I actually got a chance to actually do something, um, other than the projects that I need to do in the garden, it starts raining again. <laughs> I was going to do something last night, but it was just like too cold and too dull. I and mean, this is the middle of June, July, it's the start early July. Um, Oh my goodness, what's happening with the weather? Uh, hopefully we'll get back to you uh, the Acer Katsura very shortly. Hey, so I've just checked the weather. It's 17 degrees here in Edinburgh and 25% chance of rain. <laughs> and I've put a jacket on. The wind's picked up as well. So what I'm going to do is just crack on um, pruning this tree, okay? And really what I want to do, really what I want to do is try and take the cuttings and propagate them. So I'm going to speed this bit up because it's just pruning. And uh, let's see how we got on with the propagation. <laughs> see you in a bit.
tidying up jobs that need to be done but it's better than it was I think so yeah I'm just going to leave it at that um, that was a this stump here used to be that stump there used to be quite a thick branch that went up came up um, but it all started dying so um, I had to cut it back and what have you so yeah, I'm going to put this back on the bench now and I'm going to see what I can do about all these little cuttings that I've got and see if I can pot some of them up see you in a bit So that's the mix I've got for uh, my cuttings. I'm just going to give it a quick watering and uh, I'll start putting the cuttings in. Right, so the pot's had a good water. Um, I've got some Newton gel. Put that there. Let's see if we can make anything with these cuttings from the Acer Katsura. So that's a bit tricky, this one, isn't it? So I'll just leave that to the side. Same with that one. Yeah. And that one. I mean I don't know if any of these could be used, they look too fine. Same with that. Same with that. So to be honest with you, this is the first time I've tried cuttings. Uh, properly, I suppose you could say. Um, I've took some privet cuttings earlier on. You see that in another video, um, and they're in the greenhouse and they're being kept nice and warm and misted. And see, I don't know if that would take a as a cutting just just for there to there. I honestly, don't know. To be honest with you. Um, I know that this might struggle, but you know what, I'll give it a try, right at the base, why did I do that, I do it all the time, straight into the mix, <laughs> I should put that in. So, I mean, that looks a bit silly, doesn't it? The leaves. Um, but I know the roots come from all down here. So, let's see. Let's see, let's see. What way are these leaves pointing? Let's see if the, anything comes of them. Look a bit weird, but never mind, eh? What about the ones? Right, oh no, I'll try and get through some of these. No. Now, I don't know about this. It's a bit thick, isn't it? See, there's one year, there's another year. And I don't know if that's last year's, and that's the year after that, eh, before that. But I know that'll be no good. 
and let's just see what happens with that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's a, the kind of um, cutting I need. I mean, I have watched videos, but it's just seeing and doing it. Eh? It's different. That's just all just clustered, a wee bunch of leaves. Same with them. don't think there's many in here that are any good. Suppose that's a potential one. So I think that'll do, I think we'll try that, let's maybe get one, see the thing is there's not a, a tough to cut that there because there's no nodes at the bottom of this and I've got quite a lot of them that I've got a long stock with no node at the bottom. Uh, so ideally for example if I was picking up a, a something for a cut and I'd want it longer than this with the nodes at the bottom here, uh, like that, this kind of thing, but this is, this looks a bit awful, uh, I could try with cutting off one of these, I'll just try that anyway, why not? Maybe there's a potential here. Looks a bit uh, really, really thin. It's probably too young. Probably will fail. It's just too young. But there's a thick bit there. Yeah. I have no idea if this has got any chance. It's in anyway. Right, let's get them to the greenhouse, okay? Well, it's abs we're in the greenhouse now. It's absolutely sweltering in here, so I've got the, I've got the door open a little bit to get some air in. So there's the pot there, and there's a misting system, a mister I've got right across above the privets, and it's also I've got another one up here as well, which is helping with the. Uh, Got a strawberry plant here. These are looking quite well actually. Um, although that's a bit, it's actually not as floppy as you think. It's just sort of, I think it's just the shape of it. So these are the Asa Katsuras um, that I have. And down here actually, I've got two blackthorns that were suffering, and I've lost three of them that look very similar to that. Um, it's because the root systems are really poor in it. Um, 
and we had some really hot weather and I was suffering so bad. So I decided to put them in the greenhouse and I can actually see that they're starting to sprout these ones. The other ones are dead, unfortunately I lost three, but there's little buds coming up uh, on this. So I think I've saved these ones just because of the, the, the moisture and the warmth in here. Or the humidity, I should say. So what I'm going to do is I place this here, make some adjustments to the to the sprayer to make sure it's all getting some water, uh, and I'll turn the, the the mister on. So that's the mister's on, guys. Uh, I'm in the greenhouse. Let me put the tripod down and let me show you where everything is. So. I've got the, the mister up here just off camera, but it's, uh, let me see if you can see it there, there it's there. Um, and that's just coming down and watering and misting the leaves of the strawberry plant and the ligustrum, the privet. And this one here is hitting both the ligustrum and the acers all the way across the way. And the drips in the, in the mist is also um, making sure that my blackthorn underneath, and I'm getting a nice nice wetness here and it's very cooling as well uh, making sure that my blackthorns are getting watered and uh, kept misted as well so I, <laughs> so I think that's it for this video um, I've done what I can I just need to tidy up and go and have a coffee with the wife so thanks for watching guys please subscribe and you'll see some more videos like this see eh? so thanks again now I'm soaking <laughs> I'm soaking. <laughs> this is fun. Right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. Bye.